Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Alright, we're going to throw them down for Scorpio and then we're going to be done with the December readings. I do owe a few of the signs some bonus readings for some squirrely stuff that happened, but I will sort that out within the next couple of days and we will get those worked out before we do round two. Alright, Scorpio, what do we got flying out for you? Hmm. Four of Cups upright, Ten of Cups reversed. Huh. Okay. Alright, while I do this, we'll go through the intro. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. Your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be, but vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at this fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate you stopping by to say hi. New or old. If you are new here, I think we might vibe. You want to come back and hang out some more? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the message. It is all greatly appreciated. Before I go over those two things we need to go over and I invoke the cards, we're going to go over this. Four of Cups, Ten of Cups reversed, Two of Swords reversed, Five of Wands, Two of Cups reversed, and the Two of Pentacles. Choices, 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 choices. Wow. A decision being made without clarity. A decision possibly not being made that's going to make you happy. Juggling. Trying to figure out what make you better off. Contemplating a cup lack of happiness, there's conflict, possibly internal, possibly external. Let's see if any of these come back out in the reading. All right, never make a life alter decision based on the tarot. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it is not your story on the table, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? All right, let's get it going. A couple more quick shuffles just to make sure those flyers get well incorporated. See what comes out. Alright. Alright, let's go. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Two of Cups reversed. And the Wands reversed. Mm. Eight of Wands reversed. Four of Wands. Nine of Wands reversed. Scoot that back. Just stay. There we go. Now we can see what's going on. Why? Five of Wands. Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Conflict. Isolating yourself because you can't make a decision, you don't have the clarity to make a choice. Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Now I need clarity, Scorpio. There's a disconnect. Possibly due to conflict, a lack of action, lack of passion. Give me one on this King of Wands. One on the King of Wands reversed. Thank you. And his sword's anxiety. 
Anxiety. One more. Eight of Swords, yeah. Like losing sleep at night, you're anxious, you're scared. Afraid to move forward, not moving forward because of fear. Something's disconnecting. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands reversed. Talk to me about this Eight of Wands reversed. Oh, there is two. Okay. Two of Pentacles came back out. Six of Pentacles came out. Delays? Delays? One of the Two of Pentacles. Lack of forward movement due to delays? Two of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles, so it's a step, it's a process, it's moving slowly. If someone wants something to be able to be equal, but there's delays? Delays in communication, delays in action, one on the Six of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Stagnancy. Possibly someone doesn't have enough to give? If something can't move because there isn't enough to give, they want it to be equal, but it can't be for whatever reason. Talk to me about the Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands? Six of Cups. Six of Cups. That's a connection, friends. What? I gotta pause and look outside. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I heard something fall outside. I didn't make sure I still had like a car and half my house and stuff. Six of Cups, Six of Cups. So there's a soulmate connection. Y'all probably been kicking it for a minute. Could be Twin Flame. One more on that. Ace of Wands reversed. The Tower. Change. I don't... I don't think that's catastrophic. I think that's just a sudden change of events. Something shocking. Like the universe getting ready to move something. One more. Seven of Swords. True Colors. Someone's trying... Maybe... Showing True Colors could be a shocking return of a soulmate. Something that didn't move forward or spark before. Not exactly the purest of intentions. Ah! Strength could be a Leo. Holding back resistance, possibly. Talk to me about this Knight of Wands. Reversed. Ace of Cups. reversed Queen of Cups there's a motion there's possibility of a new start but I don't see a moving forward I don't see a jumping 
There's emotion here. But in the pack, there, there was conflict in the past. Someone stopped investing. Talk to me about this Five of Wands. Talk to me about this Five of Wands. Two of Wands. Could have been an internal conflict putting you at a crossroads, not knowing which direction to take. Or a literal conflict. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, lack of self worth. Internal conflict. Why the Six of Cups for the past and why it all happened? Page of Cups. Well, that could be an apology. Someone trying to close a gap. Chariot reversed. One more. Humbling. Six of Wands reversed. This is genuine. That's a genuine apology after a conflict. Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Eight of Wands upright. Page of Wands, go, go, go. Queen of <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. The attraction was there. The communication was there. There was definitely forward moving towards something. It, hmm. I throw one more on that. I'm sensing, feeling, hearing sex based connection. I don't want to go there, but if it's yours, take it. Page of Pentacles reversed. Not a lot to offer. I can't offer you much, but I can offer you that. Oh, wow. Okay. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think you. You want, I think you wanted somebody to fill your cup. I feel like sex and money didn't matter to you. You just wanted your cup filled. You wanted emotion. All right, talk to me about this hermit reversed. It was a complete lack of fulfillment. They didn't give you what you wanted. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, see isolating yourself from it. Seven of Wands, you got some demons you got to defeat. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I think you're just going to take some alone time and work on you. Deal with your demons. And the Two of Swords. Why the Two of Swords? Why the Two of Swords for Scorpio with the Mega Break? Two of Swords reversed. Why? Two of Swords upright. You need to achieve the clarity and decide what it is you want. And then make your decision. I think you know what it is you want, but I think you need to figure out how to make that clear and make your intentions clear and figure out what their intentions are because there's a lot of anxiety here. What if this was caused a great deal of internal conflict for someone? Four of Swords, you need to heal your heart. Hearts need to heal here. All right. 
Give me a crystal power. I dedicate myself to what I believe. The Knight of Pentacles, I deserve financial security, okay? For some of you, this may have been about financial security. The devil, I am free of whatever is holding me back. Ace of Swords. I'm ready for a breakthrough to success. Okay. All right. Give me a wisdom oracle for Scorpio. Wisdom oracle for Scorpio. Serendipity and imagine. See if we get one more. Loyal heart. Flexible. Let's do serendipity. Number 18. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. That's nice. Imagine number 20. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help see your goals, or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat what you imagine will become your belief. And soon you will see things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Loyal Heart, number 35. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you, and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you, no matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith, for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected, and divinely directed. Okay. Flexible, number 19. 
Oh my gosh, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Sorry, that just hit me. There were 19. Where were we? Tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Whereas rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the trees maintain supple and secure when everything around them may be in a shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn things. Teachable, malleable, yet firmly ground, grounded in who you are. Common sense is important. So is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's get an Archangel Michael and call it a read, Scorpio. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael is the angel of courage and confidence. I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Positive thoughts create positive results. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. All right, Scorpio. We're calling it a read. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by. I will catch you in the next. Peace, love, and light. Take care.